Okay, all right, so last thing that I'd like to go over, guys, is we're going to go over the last one of our transformations. All right, and this one's going to be a very, very important as we're going to get through. Thanks. Um, so, so far, guys, we've talked about rotations, right? That's what we had today. Um, we talked about reflections. We talked about transfer or translations, right? And so we did all these. Now we're going to be talking about a dilation. Now, the thing, though, with with our other transformations, those are all what we call rigid. They did not change the size or the shape of the figure, right? Just because you rotated something, the shape was exactly the same. Would everybody agree? When we reflected something, it was exactly the same. So a dilation is going to be a transformation that's going to affect, um, that is going to affect the size or shape of our graph. So it's a transformation. that enlarges or reduces the size of of a figure. All right? And um We'll talk about it in the fixed point, but that's basically what you're going to be talking about. So um, the main thing is a dilation is also going to be about a, when we do this, it's going to be about a fixed point. And let me go ahead and give you guys an example here. Let's say we have a triangle. Okay. So there's a triangle. Now, when we're going to be doing with the dilation, what I want you to say is, let's say we have, here's going to be our fixed point. That's going to be our dilation fixed point. Now, when we enlarge or reduce this, I'm going to try to do my best here. I guess that one doesn't work. So what I want you guys to see is we can draw along these reflection line points, I can draw the exact same triangle that is going to have the same uh, shape, but not the same size. And it's going to be what we call a dilation. So if I shrink along this dilation line, do you guys see how I can draw a triangle that's very similar, but it's about half the size? Mm -hmm. Yep. Or I could draw something that's going to be much bigger. But they're all going to be the same shape, but not just in the same size. So these are what we're going to be called dilations. And we're going to learn how to find the scale factor that's either going to enlarge it or going to shrink it. Okay?